Chef, media personality, author, and most recently, paleo health advocate. Um, great to have you on Balance. Pete Evans, my mate who I haven't seen for ages. And you look, you look amazing. You look, look, you've actually, you're a smaller version of yourself. I haven't really? seen you for about a year or so. Well, the, the bloatedness has gone, Deb. Oh, is that what it is? It used to be around here and around here and a little bit here. I yeah. was never big. Yeah, I feel that. But I was bloated. <laughs> and it was funny, as soon as I stopped eating the grains and the, and the dairy and the alcohol as well, it just went. Yeah. And, it, and it was like, oh, what's left? What's under here? Oh, there's actually, there's like a six pack. Like? Cook, cook with, cook cook with love. love. Oh, I like that. Now, speaking of cook with love, um, I know you grew up in Melbourne. Yep. I want to know, uh, did your love of food, where did it come from? Your mum? Uh, and your mum's gorgeous. You know, yeah, Joy gorgeous. is my yeah. brother. She's fantastic. She's, she, did it come from her? She could cook? She's a great cook. Yeah. yeah. She loves experimenting. And I guess, I mean, we, we grew up in a, quite a simple, simple home. I mean, it wasn't um, uh, foie gras or truffles or anything like that. We grew up on the Gold Coast, so it was very outdoorsy. Oh, yeah. It was very simple, you know, barbies every week, yes. a roast once a week, some stir fry here and there, some chicken wigs, bolognese. You know, really Yum. simple, but mum always cooked. Very rarely did we go out. If we went out for dinner, it would be once once a year for a birthday or something to yeah. the Chinese. Yeah. And we get some dim sims and spring rolls and chicken corn soup. But that's how it used to be, whereas now families are tending to eat out a lot more than they used to. Do you think there's this sort of a bit of an argument to try and have a few more meals at home? Yeah, I mean, with my fiancé, Nicola, and, and our kids now, I mean, we, 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 ha we don't go out at all. We, we cook at home. Mm. And one of the reasons as well is because we know exactly where our food comes from. Yeah. And I think that's the most... The, that's one of the most important. Number two is we can get the kids involved in the cooking as well. Yeah, good point. And number three, we can eat early. And I think that's so important for parents with kids is feeding them early. Because if what you find is kids come home from school pretty hungry. Mm. So sometimes we feed the kids dinner at 4.30, 5 o'clock. Is, so is that when you eat as well? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. The earlier you eat, the, the le more time you've got to digest. So yeah. when you go to bed, you have a really good sleep. <laughs> Be something you could think about Sarah, instead of getting up at three in the morning. <laughs> Four thirty might be a little radical. I think it's kind of because you tend to sort of have late lunches, and I, for me sometimes I think if you have a, a lunch, it's about sort of three thirty four, and it's a sustainable lunch. Yeah. That kind of does me, and then course. I can just have a cup of tea or something like that. And if you're eating well, there's no reason why you can't just have two meals a day, yeah. really. Like yeah. two proper meals. I'm not talking about rabbit food here. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about good quality protein, good quality fat yeah. to, to satiate you mm. and tie you over because our bodies run better when we've put fats into them, mm. good quality fats. Mm. So you don't have these peaks and troughs. Yeah. You're actually just like cruising all day, and then you have a good sleep. Listening to me? No, I'm listening to you. <laughs>